Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. This is episode 8 of my Aston Villa career mode story. And today we've got a youth intake of some new players right here. And I'll get into it just fast. I'll focus on some of my results and my position in the league uh, after this. But our first player, um, who are youth development, uh, Brian Jones. I'm not sure if you call him a coach, a youth development coach, or just the head of youth development. Either way, uh, he says, Labros, Chios, what does he, yeah, he says, Jones has singled out Labros Chios as possibly one of the best players of his generation. Uh, you don't say that too often. Normally, you just say, uh, it says the best players coming through your ranks in recent years, but when it says that, they have potential to be a good player. So let's see how good he is. Ooh, a five and, or four and a half star report, I should say. And a very, his height is very good, 193 centimeters. Only 15, doesn't turn 16. Uh, two, like maybe like five months away uh, from now. Uh, but looking at him, he doesn't seem that amazing. I thought he would be like really high technical attributes. But if you look at it more, he's got 15 dribbling and 15 finishing. That's very important for a striker. And also some mental attributes as well. Off the ball, 15. That could be potentially really high. And anticipation, uh, that's very good for a striker. So he could develop into a very good player for us. Stamina good. He doesn't really have much pace, but he is physical in terms of his height and his jumping 13. Not bad, but his strength isn't amazing. Uh, but hopefully, he can develop into a good player. He's most likely going to be our best player, so uh, the rest are probably going to be worse than him. But next up, uh, Sam Barnett from Oxford, attacking mid. Uh, yeah, that's his natural position as AMC. Oh, and he's a three-and-a-half star report. Decent player, actually, even though he doesn't fit into um, our formation. I uh, might have to play him on the right side on the wing. He's got decent pace, so I think he'll fit out there. He's got flair as well, dribbling, or uh, crossing, I should say, is 10. Uh, heading, I don't know, that's not too important for a winger to me. A passing 10, uh, but again, his mental attributes is his best attribute, which is very good for a younger player. So we'll see how he develops. But next up, Carl Buckle from Birmingham. Uh, let's see, is he defensive mid or a center mid? Again, three-star report, decent. Passing 13, heading 13, crossing 12. Uh, some good mental attributes. Uh, I'm not sure if he'll be good enough, but we'll see what happens with him, How he, if he should offer him a contract or not. Uh, Joseph Ruttle. Uh, he's a left winger. We need probably some more wingers uh, that are a good quality. But again, I don't know. He doesn't seem good enough, so probably won't offer him a contract. Uh, next up, they seem they're just going to get worse. Uh, Josh Rushell, a striker. Again, only two-star report. Uh, some good pace attributes, but again, finishing is only six, so that's pretty bad. Uh, next guy, Danny Dean. Uh, he's a centre-back. Uh, he's only two-star report, so I'm not sure about him. He's tackling his eleven. But uh, at least our coaches don't think he's good enough. I'm not sure if two-star report is good enough, but we'll just see. I'll analyze a bit later if I could, should offer him a contract. But next up, Joe Hurst May from Birmingham, Birmingham, I should say. And this guy is another good player. I would see a future. Uh, 16 years old. Uh, doesn't turn 17 till December. And a very good tackling 14 and marking 13. So no doubt he'll be a good player. Uh, see, he's one who has better technical attributes than mental. So hopefully his mental attributes can improve. He does have that three and a half star report, so you think that leads him to being at least a solid uh, Premier League player will be part of our future, but really wouldn't be making an impact to at least three or four seasons. So these players aren't really on the radar for any time soon. Uh, maybe Chios, uh, because he's the really high potential, might give him a go. Maybe next season sometime. Really just depends. Uh, but just continue on. Daniel Smith, two and a half star report. These ones are you're really in two minds about. You don't know whether to let him go or offer them a new contract. But to me, I just think you might as well offer them a contract and see how they develop. There's no like harm in that, uh, to be honest. Next up, Nathan Ganilli again. Uh, like the like the players' quality are just going down right now. Uh, Marco Lachlan as well, two star report for a keeper. But again, not really good attributes for a keeper for me. I really want reflexes, one on ones, and handling. To me, they're the main attributes. Uh, but again, uh, they're not very good. Next up, Alex, Alex Patterson from Luton. Uh, one and a half star report. You can just see now they're getting more worse. So I wouldn't imagine anyone uh, good. Aaron Maku, again, two star report. Uh, very good heading, actually. But the other attributes are fairly low. Uh, anyone else? Um, Damon Digby, uh, left back. One and a half star report. Like I said, there's definitely not as good players as the first few, like I shown before. Um, David Kempshaw, uh, center back. Uh, again, one and a half star report. Nothing too special. And yeah, they're just going down. So I'll just get through these quickly just to show you. Uh, Matthew Wilding, another keeper. None of the keepers are too amazing. 
And to finish off Dale Jones is uh, probably the worst player to finish off, not even one report, one star. So uh, definitely we're not going to offer a contract to him. So that's it. Uh, no doubt Labros Chios, he was the key player for that. So I'm just going to approach to sign him straight away. And yeah, he'll join our club. Uh, and just go through a couple others because I, I, I just remember the ones I remember for sure. And Joe Hurst, mate, those are the clearly uh, best, fla best players from this year's youth uh, intake. So I might have a look at some other ones. But for now, I'll just offer those. Uh, Carl Lee, I was, yeah, this guy, Anawa, Anua, I'm not sure how to say his name. Uh, Anawa Kali uh, from Rota JC. He's running out of his contract. I offered him a contract and he's considering a contract from his current team and my team. And he could be the next, whatever this guy's first name. I'm just going to call him Dol Dolmi. Yeah, Dolmi, not going to attempt his first name. But anyway, has potential to be him. So with that, you think he'll be a good player with his coach report or scout report, I should say. He'll be a decent signing. He says he's currently close to playing at his full potential. But he still has a star left to grow, if that makes sense. Like, he's two-star currently, and he's tends to be three-star. So, a uh, three-star is a good Premier League player. And, yeah, he could be good because he has potential to be someone. So, that definitely means he can be good. And we do need to get some quality center mids, and he seems one of those. Um, Carl Buckle gets injured. And, of course, uh, Chiasi gets injured straight away. But it's a small-term injury, maximum of two weeks. Um, so, that's pretty much it on that uh, yeah, I was going to show you some signings I'm making. And to be honest, I don't really care about my youth intake as much as getting other regions. That's why I really like to focus on. Uh, so I'll show you now uh, players we're getting in. Um, Arthur Andreev from Spartak Moscow. Not sure why I clicked on them. Uh, for 45k, um, here he is. Four and a half star report coming into our team. So, of course, it didn't matter. Where, uh, hopefully, the uh, work permit gets accepted. He'll be a good player for us. Bakar, I talked about already. Labros Chios, again, I just showed you. But here's one guy I'm getting. Uh, he cost a bit of money uh, on the approach to sign, 375k. Uh, for him, Darko Ivanovic, 200 centimeters for an 18-year-old. Um, incredibly tall, uh, very good physically with his jumping and natural fitness. Um, and it, with being that tall, <laughs> 200 centimeters, uh, pace of 12 is decent for someone of that tall, or of that height, I should say. And yeah, he's got really good technical attributes are going to add to our really good strikers already. And obviously, playing with one striker, we're not going to have them all in the future. We'll make profit on some and all of that. So next up, Carly, I talked about him. And Konstantin Nika, uh, he's another one uh, approaching to sign. Uh, he obviously probably wouldn't want to stay at Atalanta because they're not even using him right now. Hasn't played a game all season. And yeah, you think you want a change of scenery for him. He has a four-star potential report. And yeah, he's pretty pacey. He's got 14 pace. And acceleration of 15, uh, physical, attributes, uh, physical attributes is really good, mentally uh, solid. And yeah, tackling 12, technically needs to improve, obviously, but he's got good potential, has the potential to be a leading Premier Division right back in the future. So uh, with that, he's very good. So now I'll just move into the results. I'll try and do this quickly because this is more so based on the, uh, on the youth intake. So you see all the results here. At West Ham, we picked up a nice win, you remember. In the last episode, we did very well with all our lone players scoring. Uh, they did well. Then we lost against Manchester United, a result you would expect. But we didn't get dominated. We only lost 2-0 away to uh, team was first in the league. So it wasn't that bad. But then it was bad when we picked up two red cards. And that was an important match because Cardiff was just on top of us. Whoever won that would have been uh, like 12th or something. Uh, so yeah, two red cards was always going to plague us. So that match was another scripted match getting two red cards. What can you do about that? Then against Hull... Uh, we picked up a red card and then the injury. So again, they just keep the, the game just doesn't want me to do well in this first season. Because uh, I think our tactic's pretty good and it's shown that at the time. But one guy who's impressing well, I've been playing him at right back in recent games, even though his defensive attributes aren't amazing, like seven marking and seven tackling, even though he's improving in that, not too bad. Um, you can see he's been a very regular goal scorer. He scored in the last match a very good goal where I did play him at right back. So he got forward and scored with a powerful shot. Um, you see with shoot with power, that's one of his preferred moves. So he does that well. And so you see where we are now. We're sitting in 13th. See the Cardiff? The, basically, the, well, almost the difference is our match. So uh, yeah, we're probably going to finish around 13th. To be honest, we're not going to finish anywhere else. So I'm probably going to do an update at the end of the season because uh, this is where we're going to finish. This is where we're expected to finish. Uh, so we're 13th currently. So if I go to uh, the information, uh, the media prediction was 14th. So we're currently one position above our expectations. So uh, you think that's good, and that's one thing about Aston Villa. They have a good, uh, they have a good base to build on. They have got a decent stadium, over four, like forty thousand is very good. Um, year built, that doesn't really matter. Uh, the top training facilities is very good. 
stadium is good condition, but top training or top training and top youth facilities. Uh, these youth players coming in is very good. And also another youth player, I'm not sure if you remember him or not, that we signed earlier. I'm sure, yeah, Herman Stengel. Uh, this guy, I'm not sure. He could almost come in next season maybe. Just depends how he continues to develop. Uh, yeah, he really hopefully will solve the problems in center mid. We really need some world-class players in there. Hopefully can develop well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't want to make this a long episode because um, yeah, it was basically just for the youth intake. We got a couple of good players in there. Uh, so the round of the season, we got some important matches against Norwich. If you see Norwich here, uh, they're they're below us. So if we could win that match, we can like create that three points gap, and we'll definitely not get relegated. So if you could pick up the win there, that will be uh, very important. And then some other matches, Sunderland, another one, they're just below us as well. So if you can pick up wins there, um, or at least just not let them beat us, uh, we'll definitely not get relegated. We got a kind of hard end to the season with Arsenal, Chelsea, Man City still to play. So I guess you can say it's still possible to get relegated. Uh, but look, Hull, they've only won four times in the season. West Ham, six times, but they're on really poor form right now. Very bad goal difference. And Crystal Palace, they're, yeah, they're not going to be any danger of staying in the league. And even West Ham, they're just playing terribly right now. So yeah, we're probably just going to finish around this 13th, uh, 12th, 14th, or 15th if it goes bad. But we're not going to get relegated for sure, so that's a good sign. But as I said, it's still possible. But yeah, the teams in the relegation zone don't even look like winning. So uh, yeah, we're probably just going to consolidate, consolidate, I should say, uh, in the re really where the media predicts. So yeah, predicted us to come this season. Well, they predicted 14th and we're currently 13th. So one position above the expectations. Uh, hopefully I'll get a new contract. And if it doesn't, uh, yeah, that'll be a bit awkward, but I'll make sure I do somehow. But I'll just leave it at that for now. And yeah, hopefully enjoy this episode, getting some good uh, regen players in, maybe a couple, at least two will be part of the future. Uh, got to depend, got to see on the other ones if they'll be good enough or not. But yeah, that's it enough for now, and I'll see you guys next time.